Hey folks, JD here, and today I've got something a little bit different for you. This is the Helifar H803 and it's an obstacle avoidance quadcopter. I know, in a nano, mm, probably isn't going to be great, right? Okay, so what do we have? Four brush motors, a really nicely painted, almost bird-esque body to her. We have this package comes with two batteries, giving approximately five to six minutes of flight each battery. Obstacle avoidance nodes on either side and underneath as well, as well as a really bright couple of LEDs also for you to see her orientation. And this is her. So you've got a couple of obstacle avoidance nodes on the side and what I'm thinking underneath as well. Now the manual is quite difficult to understand so that's why I'm guessing but we're going to give it a shot and see exactly how this goes. No camera, very basic other than those collision avoidance systems. So I want to see how that works. Apparently if you come too close to her she'll just fly away from where you're pushing against or where the obstacle is. So we'll see exactly if that is the case. We're going to try a few things, see exactly how this goes. All right then folks, let's take her up. All right, so here we go. So we've got the quad, so I'm going to just, as usual, line up everything and then pop her on the deck just so that the gyro can calibrate or start the calibration process. There we go. Now let's turn on the quad cop. Let's turn on the um, transmitter. Single one up and one down to bind. All LEDs are nice and solid now. Right, so with this, we're going to use the one key takeoff and we're going to take her up in a minute. Let's get those gyros calibrated down and to the right to calibrate those. And now we're going to use the one key takeoff. All right then, folks, let's do this. All right, she's up and she's moving around a bit. So I'm going to do, can she find a center? Let's give her a bit of trim to the front just to stop her kind of moving backwards. I think that is bang on the money. Okay, let's move her forward. Let's... Ooh, that's not a good sign. She just won't go above. Look at that. She just won't go above anything, look. She's not increasing altitude. Increase her speed, but her speed, speed does not increase her altitude. If anything, increasing her speed, it means that she is even lower. So what? Okay, so there's the, the, the collision avoidance systems in the side. If I come close to her, or underneath rather, see, I can kind of push her away. Of sorts, it's underneath. It's not the sides at all. It's underneath. Right, let's increase her speed. Speed mode 2. That's not a usual speed mode 2 type of speed. And I still don't have any increase in, in altitude there. That's literally all I have is that. But if I stop moving her... No. She... Can I get... Can I force her up a little bit? Can she move down? Yeah, she can move down. Oh, there we go. Oh, right. Wow, okay, that seemed like... All I did is move her down and now she can move up. Right, okay. <laughs> right, I'm going to put that down to me being an absolute idiot, but still. Right, let's move her around. Speed mode 2. Now she's cutting. Now she seems to be okay. Now if I bring her back to me, let's look at let's look at these uh, 3D flips. 3D flips and rolls. So up one, down, left and right. Four way 3D flips and she moves herself really well. Just so you can see again in the light. <laughs> okay, that's good. Right. Let's bring her back. She flies quite well. I don't know what that was. I had. To, I, I don't know if there's a lock on the system where I had to pull, pull her down and then she would uh, increase her altitude. But that's literally all I did was pull her down once on the throttle and then open her back up and then she just sped off. Those orientation LEDs at the front can see them not very well. The back one, though, the red one, I can see that up to there then it gets a little bit dicey. The green one I can see from there, which is not really what you want from an orientation LED. Right, speed mode three. She hasn't really increased that much. Oh, it's turning speed again. Okay, so with a lot of these nanos, what you're gonna get is you're not gonna get a very fast third speed with some of them, with some other ones, mind you are. But also what you are gonna get is when you do flip her into speed mode three, she really does turn quick. 
and that's just proving my point that she does not turn quick. Good God, this goddamn copter. <laughs> but that's what usually happens, is in Speed Mode 3, they turn it extremely quickly. She's got a nice little bit of distance on her as well. She comes back, no problem. Bit of trim to sort her out, but now if I let go of this, I'm betting she's going to be stable. So she's still moving about a bit, but bring her down a little bit. Ooh, wow, she didn't have plummet to the floor then. So which way is she moving there? She's ducking her way to the left. So if I give her a bit on the right. No, I think that could just be balance. That's not something you can trim out by the look of it. Right, okay. Well, she flies quite quite well, you know, after that little hiccup. I'm quite happy with how she flies. I mean, she's she's a true, a true flyer. Um, she turns, no problem, comes back. Again, no problem. She sticks quite close. There we are, that's the battery lights. In this second video I'm going to do now, we're going to look at the collision, uh, the obstacle collision system a little bit more. If I bring her down a little bit, if I try and see, is there any side of her? She, it may have disengaged now that... Um, now that the battery is on low low power but there was a definite push when I pushed her right back at the start of this video but um, okay well the battery was probably in the ballpark figure of where where they said between four to six minutes so that's okay um, but that it does concern me that I had to push down in order for her to take off but still she's up in the air she's flying she's doing it right now and there hasn't been an issue since she's been doing it right so I'm going to put that first bit down to me I'm going to take the blame for that one I'm not going to let this little guy take the blame for something that may have been my fault that I couldn't read in the manual because the manual makes no sense so <laughs> that being said and we're flat out in yeah speed mode 3 so we've been flat out in speed mode 3 all this time and the battery is still giving us a good four and a half, five minutes, which is the ballpark figure. I think it was five, five to six, I think. Um, which is pretty good. Oh, and now she's landing. Oh, no, she's not. I can battle against her. But do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take her into land. Because I think we're getting close here. She's trying to auto land herself. There we go. Perfect. Right. First video done. Thoughts on first video. Well... These little motors are screamers, but they're not warm at all. The whole quad's very cold, including the battery. Uh, yeah, took her up, couldn't get it to increase altitude, but then as soon as I pulled down on the throttle, then she and, and, and then pushed back up. She increased in altitude, no problem. So I think that could have been like a little unlock sort of procedure, perhaps. I don't know. I've not heard of it of a quad copter like this, but then I've never seen a nano with collision avoidance systems. So you know, I may be wrong. When I was over here, approximately, and I was moving my hand around, there was a certain, I think it was underneath, that as I moved my hand, she increased altitude. But I'm gonna, in this second video, we're gonna look at this collision avoidance system a little bit more and see exactly what it is it, and how it works, hopefully. So, so far, nice little flyer, very delicate in the air. Speed mode three does turn her quick, doesn't really increase much of her speed. Speed mode two isn't a discernible, uh, isn't much of a speed difference on speed mode one uh, all in all it's not really a massive um, look at that there's a deer sorry we're talking about this quadcopter but there's a deer right there that's beautiful there's another deer right there how beautiful is that oh god oh sorry right uh, yeah so um, as I was saying Speed mode 3 isn't much of a difference on speed mode 1 or speed mode 2. It is a little bit quicker. Um, I don't think... It, it seems to be turning speed rather than inline speed. Uh, the LEDs aren't bright enough. The green LED I could see when it was literally about there. And then I could see it. The red LED was quite, was quite good. I could see it probably about 10 foot away. That was okay just to get my bearings as to what orientation the quad was at. Uh, yeah, so far though, so good. I like her. She's all right. We're going to see what she's like in the second part of the video and see how this obstacle avoidance systems work. So with that, folks, I bid you farewell. Thank you ever so much for watching and listening. I've been JD. You've been fantastic as always. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Hello and welcome to all the new subscribers. I hope you're enjoying the channel. So until next time, my friends. 
Happy flying.